So I was just in London and Paris for two weeks and while I was there, let's just say your boy dropped some freaking bags. <laughs> so today, I'm just gonna share with you guys these sweet pickups. So first up, we got the Nike Air Force One Sneakers 7th Anniversary Edition. This is probably the most detailed sneaker I've ever seen in my life. It is the epitome of a fall sneaker. It incorporates my two favorite things. You got knit and you got brown, making it the ultimate fall sneaker. The whole shoe is encompassed in this knit material and it's got all sorts of different textures. It's not all the same pattern, which is really cool. It also features wooden aglets, which I've never seen before. So if you guys ever plan on doing a Lone Survivor show in the future, make sure you wear these ones so you can just chop off the lace and then use it as a little fire starter. <laughs> and on top of that, the Nike swoosh is in this beautifully pebbled leather, which looks absolutely amazing. Definitely the most unique sneaker I've ever seen. Second purchase is this felted merino half zip sweater from Everlane. I'm actually wearing one right now. And I have become a massive fan of these wool quarter zips after being enlightened by the European style. People just dress so much nicer in Europe. Like that's a fact. I was there, I felt like an absolute peasant. But these felt and merino half zip sweaters are so comfortable on the skin, unlike a lot of other wool products that you wear. Sometimes it's really itchy on the skin. But with these ones, I can actually wear these without a shirt if I wanted to. As you can see, the fit is absolutely immaculate. And the quarter zip itself just looks so elegant. It can totally be rocked by itself with just some trousers, or you could throw on an overcoat or some sort of coat for extra style points. Now, my most expensive purchase on this trip was this side bag from this iconic French band called Frolage. I literally refuse to buy Dior, Gucci, or Louis Vuitton. Those brands are just too mainstream and they're not great quality either. So I decided to go with this iconic, low-key French brand that very few people know. The bag that I bought is in this luxurious dark brown color that can practically go with any outfit and it just adds that little accessory to the outfit, making it look a lot more put together. Next up is the relaxed fit bull chain knit jumper from Cost. So I gotta stop this video for a second because I just said bull chain knit. It's boucle. What, what the hell are you on about, Brandon? Anyways, this is a great time to tell you guys you should probably subscribe and like the video if you're enjoying it so far. As the name suggests, it is relaxed fit, so it sits extremely comfortable on the body and the bull chain. It's boucle. It's so unbelievably soft too. And as you guys know, I'm an absolute fiend for texture. So when I saw this, I was in absolute awe because that extra texture just makes the garment look so much more elevated. And when combined with another layer, and you got the ultimate outfit. And the fifth purchase is this puffer jacket from Zara Origins, and it totally gives me concept slash futuristic slash alien vibes. It kind of reminds me of those concept cars that Audi does for like 2030. It just looks like that, but in a garment. And also where the seams connect, it looks very similar to that Yeezy Balenciaga hoodie where it's like scrunched up and rounded at the bottom. Another interesting feature on this is that it actually has no zipper. So this thing is meant to be styled open so you can show off the layers underneath. So I thought this was super unique and I was like, definite cop. Now for our sixth item, we have some jewelry from Serge de Nimes and this is their new Tudor collection. I got this silver Ren necklace, which I've been wearing a lot recently, along with the silver Ren ring, which has the exact same design as the necklace. I also got this Tudor cross ring, which I'm absolutely in love with the detail on this one and the fact that you can see your finger through is pretty cool. And our next item is this Zara flannel jacket. Once again, you can tell I'm into the brown tones this fall. Quality wise, it's nothing special. I mainly purchased it due to the pattern and the color combo, but the fit is everything that you'd want it to be for a flannel jacket. It's roomy enough to put something underneath it, but it's not so baggy that it's gonna look weird if you just wear a t-shirt. So guys, those are my pickups that I got while I was away. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found some inspo. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya!